Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a back to school haul, but it's not really like school supplies and all of that. It's just kind of stuff that I'm getting to prepare for my study abroad. So I thought I would share it with you because it's a lot of stuff. So I'll start off with one of my first purchases and it's this jacket. I needed kind of a wintry jacket that wasn't too heavy and wasn't too lightweight because I'm going to be gone from September to November. So it is going to get a little bit colder to the end and I come back December 1st, so yeah. Won't have too much snow issues, but it will get pretty chilly. And I really wanted a North Face jacket, and I was in Nordstrom with my sister, and we saw these, so we actually both got them, because my sister is going to school in Arizona, but a colder area of Arizona by the mountains. So we both got these jackets, and they were really expensive, but it's gonna last really well, so it's kind of a necessity. I have to wash this like ASAP because I thought that the jacket smelled weird and then for some reason I thought it would be a genius idea to smell the armpit. Girl, bad idea. I also got a few things on Amazon. I got more film for my Polaroid camera because I figure I'm going to be taking a lot of Polaroids and I think it's a cool idea to kind of document a trip and I can always Instagram the Polaroids as well. So. That's cool. This is a five pack of 10, so that'll last for a bit. And then I also got a Go Pole. I almost called it a GoPro pole, but it just says Go Pole. It's kind of one of those selfie stick kind of things, but it's for the GoPro specifically. I just got a GoPro um, for this trip, and I also use it at BeautyCon, so if you saw that video, that was entirely with the GoPro. But I thought this one was nice and sturdy. If I'm vlogging, I can just kind of hold it here and it's gonna be perfect. I made an online ASOS order. This is actually two orders. The first was this shirt and it's from their Curve line, which I always buy from because it fits me. And then this is just kind of a muscle tee kind of shirt that says tweet me on it. I think it's kind of funny, tweet me. And I wish, whenever I saw it online, I thought that this was finished, but this is just like cut. So I guess that explains why it was really cheap, but we'll see. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's good for like everyday wear. And then I finally got a pair of Birkenstocks and this was the most drawn out thing ever. I'm like still pissed about it. So I ordered Birkenstocks from a local store in May and they were on back order and they said, oh, they'll be here in like two weeks. Call a month later, oh, still not here. Maybe in a few more weeks. Two months later pass, still not here. We get a call, oh, they'll come in September. I leave September 5th, that's gonna work out really great. So I decided to buy some online at ASOS and I decided to get white because I ordered black from the other store. So I ordered the white and then I was really excited for them to come in because I wanted to start breaking them in because they're a bitch to break in. And the shoes that I got were not even Birkenstocks, they were like black booties. So we had to return those and then I finally got these white Birkenstocks and they really hurt but I'm breaking them in. We'll see. They're definitely not for everyone but I really like them. I have really wide feet so I don't really feel like they make my feet look any worse. I just feel like it's nice and they're really great for a pair of jeans or anything. And I'm a flip-flop girl and actually through like learning cultural differences between Italy and the US, I found out that Italians don't really wear flip-flops outside that much apparently. They just consider them more like wearing around the house. So I'm guessing this will be a good alternative to flip-flops because I literally live in my flip-flops. I had a little trip to Sephora and MAC just to get some necessities. So at MAC I just got one thing, the brush cleaner, just because I decided I wanted MAC brush cleaner instead of the NYX one I was using just because my brushes aren't as nice with that as it is with the MAC. And I like MAC because I can back to MAC the container as well. And then I got a few things at Sephora. First I got my little birthday gift thing. It's the Makeup Forever. And it has like a mascara and a lipstick, a mini lipstick, which is kind of cute, but I didn't really like the color. And then while I was in the store, I had to pick up some tweezers because I couldn't find my favorite Tweezerman tweezers. And I had been using Anastasia tweezers and Sally Hansen tweezers, and they're not the same. Tweezerman is really just the best tweezer brand. And the second that I bought it, I knew that I was going to find my old pair that I lost, and that did happen. But I still decided to keep them. They're just these black Tweezerman tweezers. And since I found my other pair, I just decided to send them to my sister. So I guess that's my good deed of the day. And this was kind of an impulse purchase in the little to-go section that they have by the checkout. 
it's the L'Occitane shower oil and it's um almond scented and I've tried this before but I actually don't think I reviewed it on my blog which is kind of dumb but I talked about it on my channel before I'm pretty sure it's just this super luxurious oil that you use for shaving and I only like to use it on my legs for shaving just because I don't want to waste it and it just makes your legs super soft and makes the shave really smooth so this mini container was eight dollars I would have just gotten the big one but I didn't really want to spend a lot of money and this is perfect for travel since that's what I'm going to be using it for. I have a couple of things from Bed Bath & Beyond. The first is kind of a funny thing, but it's an essential for me and it's Poopery. You've probably seen the commercials. It's a spray for the toilet and the reason why this is essential for me is because if you're sharing a bathroom with someone, you don't really want to have to avoid the bathroom after somebody else goes to the bathroom and the same, you know, vice versa. So I just got this citrus mint one, and since I'm gonna be living with roommates and we haven't really hung out before, I think this is just a good idea. So it takes out a lot of the awkwardness. And then also at Bed Bath & Beyond, I was on the hunt for travel journals, and I was thinking I'd have to go to Barnes & Noble to get these Moleskine, Moleskine, Moleskine uh, ones, and I couldn't find them at Staples, they had like the wrong shape, and I finally found them at Bed Bath & Beyond. So I just got two because I want to do a travel journal, which you'll see more stuff for next. These are just their regular legendary notebooks. They have a travel notebook, they have all these fancy different notebooks, but I just wanted this one because it looks really sleek. It's a hard case, so it's not going to get damaged, and then it just has this elastic thing. So when I'm going to be like pasting stuff in, it's not going to all like fly out, and the book isn't just going to like fly open. So. Just got two of those. Also I had to make a Target run and I feel like when you go to Target you have one thing in mind and you walk out with like 80 things and you just spent like $150 there. But I really needed towels because we're not going to be provided towels in the apartments that we're going to be living in. So I got two hand towels and these are just big hand towels. I also saw the washcloth but I just figured that hand towels would be better to use on the face because washcloths are pretty small. So. These are orange, which obviously, why wouldn't I get orange? Here's the other one. They were all really affordable too because they're really thin material. And then I just got the regular bath towel. And I already washed these because I wanted to wash them before I leave. And then I also got two pairs of Spanx. Well, they're not Spanx, I guess it's just shapewear. And I get these Made in Form ones. I couldn't find my favorite ones that are also by Made in Form at Target. So I just stuck with these ones. These are an essential if I wear dresses. And here's one. I like the ones that go from, you know, your stomach area to about mid thigh, just because whenever, you know, you don't have a thigh gap, which hello, you probably shouldn't have a thigh gap. Your thighs are gonna rub together sometimes. And when there's like sweat involved or something and you're walking a lot, you know, you can get that chub rub. So Spanx or shapewear prevents that. I also needed to get a waterproof jacket, so a raincoat, because it rains a lot in Europe, I guess. And I wasn't expecting to find one at Target, but I did. So I just got this one, it's black, and it's water resistant. I even tested it in the dressing room. I had a bottle of water and legit poured it on the jacket. I feel like that's kind of a ratchet thing to do, but I did it and it has a hood, so it's gonna be perfect and it also zips up all the way to, you know, the neck, chin area, so it'll be great, can put a scarf on, and since it's black, it's not an ugly raincoat. And then the last thing that I got at Target was just a bunch of odds and ends. Kinda went a little overboard in the travel dollar toiletry section, so be prepared. Cotton rounds, I had to go pen for the purse. Airborne, because I really don't want to get sick. Downy wrinkle releaser plus. I've never tried anything like this, but I really don't like ironing, and I think it would just be helpful to have. Crest Complete Whitening Scope Toothpaste. Um, always need toothpaste. Dial hand sanitizer for the plane, I guess, and just, you know, general traveling on public transportation and all that. A lint roller. Flexible fabric band-aids. I need these whenever I'm breaking in shoes or, you know, just in case anything happens on the go. And then I also got a toothbrush holder, which I thought would be good for traveling because I always, I've never had a toothbrush holder. I always just put them in a plastic bag and that's kind of weird. Q-tips, Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes, Advil. 
Papermate Flare marker pens and I've had the black ones of these for a while and I really love them so I thought I would get this huge set that has 16 and it was like 15 bucks for the whole set but it's going to be worth it because it has all of these awesome colors so if I'm writing postcards or something or just in the journal it can be you know colorful and fun and something nice to look back on and kind of a more stylized creative version of a journal. I got a ton of stuff at Michael's that will go along with that and I'm really excited about all of this stuff so I saved the best for last because I feel like the rest was kind of boring but hopefully it wasn't boring to you guys. I got two packs of stickers. There's this Italy set and just a Europe set. You know whenever I go see the Leaning Tower of Pisa I can just put that there or like a Polaroid of the tower, all of that, you know, Venice, the gondola. We're gonna have a wine tasting, you know, put the wines on there. Perfect. And then one of the main things I was trying to find at Michael's was cute washi tape that I could, you know, tape the pictures on my journal or whatever. So I got two different ones. The first is this crafting tape by Recollections, which is the Michael's brand. And it's just this set of orange ones, orange stripes and orange polka dots, super cute. And then I also got one by this uh, Smash brand and I know that they have smash journals that are basically you know really scrapbooky travel journals whatever you want to call them but I just decided to buy some of their products and use them in my own journal because they have some pretty interesting looking stuff so the tape that I got it's just gold and it has like arrows anchors and just these cute little like parallelograms on them and I liked it because it was metallic gold. I feel like some of the golds just looked kind of brownish, but this is actual like metallic gold. And then speaking of gold, from the same brand, I got these metallic stickers so I can write something on the, my journals. I don't know, I didn't really know. I was just like, gold. Then the main thing that I wanted to get was stamping things because I thought it would be so cool to, you know, stamp words into my journal or, you know, stamp the date onto my postcards. It would look really neat and not take a lot of effort. So I got quite a few stamping things. First I got a black stamp pad and it's just Memento Lux Tuxedo Black. Got the big one because you never know. And then I got this cute little alphabet set so I can write any letters that I need or any words and make it really cute and I guess I can like do the cities that I'm in or whatever. And then I also got a rainbow set of ink pads mainly for the orange but I'm sure I'll get used out of all the colors. And then the last thing I got was really cool and I wasn't expecting to get this. It's a roller stamp and you can do the dates on it which is really cool for journaling and for postcards. And then it has other styles on it. You can say remember, quoted, epic, photographed on, snapshot, those kind of things. And it's just a really cute roller stamp so I can put the dates on my postcards and journal. So that's my haul. I think it was way too long but I hope you guys liked it so give it a thumbs up if you did and hopefully you're excited to see my videos in Italy and Europe in general. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, so I just received a pretty exciting package in the mail 